Hey guys, Jake from 8020 Media here. Got the Suburban 1500 up on the lift again. Um, just finished doing an oil change guide on it. So if you're looking to change your oil, go check that one out. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and flush the coolant system. Uh, we've been having low coolant on here. We might have a coolant leak somewhere, um, but we're running a little bit low. Figured it's about time to go ahead and flush the whole system. So we're gonna go ahead and do a video showing you how to do that. Um, pretty easy DIY again. No tools required, just your hands and a drain bucket, um, as well as new coolant. .3 Vortec. This is the LM7 in here, but it uses the orange Dex Cool coolant. Uh, total capacity of the cooling system is 16 quarts. Um, I recommend getting the concentrated coolant. Um, you can buy the unconcentrated, but for example, this was $21.99. You need two of these and then two gallons of uh, distilled water, which are like a dollar at your local Walmart. So for both of these, plus the coolant or plus the distilled water is about 50 bucks. Um, you can buy the pre-diluted one that's 50% coolant and 50% water, but that's $18.99 and you'll have to buy four of those. So you're either buying four $19 gallons of this or you're buying uh, two of them plus water for about 50 bucks. So overall, cheaper to get the concentrate. You just need to make sure you're doing a 50-50 mix when you pour it into the engine. Uh, but with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. So the first step, um, you'll need to get your vehicle slightly off the ground a little bit, just since there's not a whole lot of clearance under these things uh, with them on the ground. So you can either use a jack and jack stands or you can use some rhino ramps or some type of ramp to get a little bit more clearance um, underneath the front side of the vehicle. Um, so once you have a little bit more clearance or before you do that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove the cap to the coolant reservoir. Um, this will help allow air into the system to allow everything to flow out a little bit more quickly and efficiently. Um, so to do that, the coolant reservoir is located on the passenger side of the engine bay. It's this big thing right here. So all we're going to do is loosen the cap so that air can get through the system. And now we're going to go ahead and get under the vehicle and show you how to drain the coolant. All right, guys, so I'm underneath the vehicle right now. I am right inside of the driver's side wheel. Um, what we're looking up at right now is the radiator. Um, there is a drain plug. It is a small little uh, like kind of hand screw plug and that's where your coolant will drain out of. Um, it is right up here. I'm trying to see if I can get a good kind of angle on it. Um, it's right in right on top of this hose right here. You'll see it. It's a little it kind of sticks out, you'll feel it with your hand, and you just twist it to the left with your hand, and then all of your coolant will start draining from there. Um, some of these vehicles do have drain hoses on them, but this one does not, and so we're just going to open the cap. Um, all of the uh, coolant's going to come flowing out through here, so just make sure you have your drain pan set up underneath it. Um, that's all you need to do. All right, so we just got all of the coolant drained out of the system. Um, fair warning. Uh, I'd stay out of the splash zone. Um, we don't have the hose on this one that makes it nice and easy to drain, so it comes out splashing pretty aggressively. And um, so one, I'd recommend doing this in a place where you don't care if you spill coolant on the ground, but two, uh, try to stay away as you pull the cap off because it gets some good splash on there and I uh, took a little bit of a bath in it right there. Um, anyways, we drained it all, went ahead and uh, put the drain cap back in. All you need to do is tighten it by your hand, just twist it to the right as far as you can twist it. Um, and then from there, what we're gonna go ahead and do is fill the system back up. And so we're gonna do, since we bought the concentrated stuff, we're gonna fill it about 50-50, so I'll do about half of this and then half of that and then see where we're at. Um, but the process from here is to fill it all the way up until, the, until it reaches the top here. And then what we're going to do once we have this kind of filled up to the top is we're going to turn the car on, turn the heat on level one, but turn it to full heat. Um, and then we're going to wait for the engine to heat up to operating temperature. Once it gets up to operating temperature, 
Uh, you'll notice the coolant levels will start draining as coolant flushes into the engine. Um, and so as the engine's running, we're gonna make sure, we're gonna stand here while running and make sure we constantly kind of keep it topped off to the top. Um, once the engine gets up to operating temperature, um, you can go ahead and top it off one last time to make sure the system's fully, fully full. Um, and then that's the whole kind of bleeding process to make sure that there's no air in the system and to make sure that the engine has coolant all throughout it. So we're going to go ahead and do the initial top up right here. And then we'll uh, show you a little footage of once we start the engine running and uh, re-top it off. All right, so we've had the engine on now for a second. Uh, we've got the hot air running. And so I'm just monitoring the levels in here, uh, filling it up with coolant, filling it up with water as needed. Uh, to make sure we keep it all the way topped up. We're gonna let it run for a couple minutes and just make sure we're constantly checking it to make sure we've got enough fluid in there. All right guys, so we went ahead and let it get up to operating temperature. We kept uh, topping it off with coolant and the distilled water as we did that. Uh, once it got up to operating temp, we put the cap on, went and took it for a little spin around the neighborhood and then brought it back in the driveway just to check and make sure uh, the levels were good, gave it a final top off, and uh, that's it. So process is pretty simple. All you need is your hands and uh, the coolant and distilled water. Um, very easy to get done. However, we're not going to turn the camera around and show you the mess that we made on our garage floor from doing this. Um, but anyways, appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like our content, we'd appreciate it if you give us a subscribe, like the video, and uh, check out some of our other videos we have on the 5.3 Vortec and uh, Suburban DIY stuff.